in this tutorial we will create this sketch and these sketches let's start with this sketch click on create sketch select the plane and pan it at first we will create the sketch and we will give dimension later on take the line command give the first point give the second point ensure that your lines are straight and create one sketch then click here and select dimension sketch dimensions and give the dimension here i want it to be 75 then this one is 65 then this line is of 25 20 30 it is of 25 and this is of 20 and this will automatically come 30 because of this 75 dimension then vertical dimensions are 30 and 15 take this line give the point give the dimension 30 and 15 then press escape this sketch is ready then click on new sketch again create sketch select the plane and pan it next is this one in this at first we will create drawing in one quadrant and we will mirror it take the line command and create the sketch then escape for giving angle here we will need one center line for that click here on construction and create one line create one horizontal line escape you can also give L for line command create one vertical line escape then give the angle press D for dimension angle from this line to this line it is 30 degree then length is 30 and these are the 20 lengths and again this is 30 length and angle with vertical will be 30 length of this line is 30 give the 30 then for this line it is 20 and this line 20 then angle between this line and this line is 30 then length of this line is 30 escape then we want this point to be on this line select this point then control select this vertical line and apply the constraint of coincident now i want this axis to be around this center again select this axis control this center point again coincidence okay then to mirror it select here and click on mirror then select the object press first button drag the mouse and release the mouse then click here and select the mirror line and click on ok again select the object select mirror again select here select the mirror line this horizontal line ok this object is ready then again new object new design again sketch now I will take this vertical plane. Next object is this one. Triangle of 60 dimension. As it is an equilateral triangle, therefore these angles will be 60 degree. Then pan it. Take the line command and create one triangle. Escape. Then press D for dimension. Give the length of 60. And take this line this line give the angle of 60 again this line this line give the angle of 60 escape the black color means it is fully defined the next is to create the circles 
obtained in 15 radius for circle press c button on the keyboard then give the center point give the diameter of 20 then click there again take this center point give the diameter of 20 enter and click there again give the center point give the diameter of 30 enter and click then press escape then one internal circle touching the three lines for that click here go to circle command and select three point circle three point take your cursor to the midpoint of this line then midpoint of this line and midpoint of this line then press escape this object is also ready again new then next is this object there are these center lines are there at a gap of 90 click on create sketch select the horizontal plane pan it then click on this construction and create the lines then vertical line escape again press L for line enter then again press L for line escape then give the gap of 90 for this press D for dimension give the gap between these two lines gap is 90 enter escape then next is to create the circles press C for circle and create the circle now I don't want this circle to be hidden object escape and click here to cancel the construction element then to convert this into continuous line select this object and click here on this construction and escape again give C for circle create the circle again from here and from here escape then press D for dimension for this the dimension will be internal is dia 40 and external will be dia 60 for here give the dia 40 again for this circle give dia 60 then here 10 and 20 that is 20 and 40 here it is 20 and here it is 40 escape then we need tangent lines select the line command click here and take your cursor away on the next circle and once tangent symbol is shown click there same way here select here then once tangent symbol is shown click there escape then tangent is required on this side also select this line control this circle and apply the tangent constraint from here click on this tangent same way below select this line control this circle then scroll down and click on tangent escape then this internal portion is not required for that give the trim command press T on keyboard for trim and remove the unwanted object then to remove this portion zoom it there and click then again from here zoom fit then zoom here and remove this arc again zoom fit then press escape this is ready again new object new design next is this one click on create sketch take the horizontal plane pan it and create the rectangle click on sketch rectangle and take the rectangle from center give the center point create the rectangle press D for dimension give the length of 100 and width of 30 escape then two center lines are needed here give the line command make the construction on and create two vertical center line escape line escape then gap of these lines are 30 30 
there will be circle of radius 10 press D button give the dimension between this line to this line as 30 and this line to this line as 30 then press C button for circle take the intersection point and give the dimension of 20 diameter enter enter I don't want this circle to be in hidden line select the circle and click on this construction and click outside I don't want next circle to be hidden line click here to cancel the construction object press C for circle then give the center point give the diameter of 20 enter enter then escape this object is ready then next object is this one click on new design click on create sketch select this plane pan it then we need to create ellipse click here and click on ellipse give the center point give the horizontal point give the vertical point then press D for dimension from this point to this point is 120 and vertical is 80 give 120 here from this point to this point 80 it is already there press enter then escape then next is these lines are at a distance of 100 click here on construction take the line command create vertical construction line escape then give the dimension d select this line this line give the distance of 50 escape then there is this circle of dia 10 again press c button on keyboard give the center point then again give the diameter of 10 enter and enter then select this circle and click here on construction again click on this construction to cancel the construction mode then I want same object on the opposite side select here and click on mirror select the object then click here and select the mirror line and ok the next is these two circles are there 30 and 60 diameter press C on keyboard give the center point give the diameter of 60 enter again C center point then give the diameter of 30 enter enter all the sketches are ready thanks for watching we will stop here